Hey everyone, it is freezing today, 24 degrees right here, but I just got done with my workout and it was crazy. I was dreading my workout because I didn't want to come into my office because I knew it was going to be super cold and literally my short walk from the house to my office was like iced over, but literally like five minutes into my workout, I was sweating and burning up and so I really couldn't think of a better way to warm up today. So today is January 16th. It's crazy to think that we're already 16 days into 2018. But the subject um, from today's um, passage in the language of letting go is prayer. As a matter of fact, prayer is the only real action in the full sense of word because prayer is the only thing that changes one character. A change in character or a change in soul is a real change. Erica Jong has said that we are spiritual beings who are human. Praying and meditating are ways we take care of our spirit. Prayer and meditation are disciplines suggested by the 11th step of the 12 step recovery programs, Al-Anon, adult children of alcoholics, and others. Prayer and meditation are not necessarily connected to organized religion. Prayer and meditations are ways to improve our relationship with a higher power to benefit ourselves, our life, and our growth. Praying is how we connect with God. We don't pray because we have to. We pray because we want to. It is how we link our soul to our source. We're learning to take care of our emotions, our mind, our physical needs. We're learning to change our behaviors. We're also learning to take care of our spirit, our soul, because that is where all true change begins. Each time we talk to God, we are transformed. Each time we connect with our higher power, we are heard, touched, and changed for the best. Today, I will practice prayer and meditation whether I feel desperate, uneasy, or peaceful, I will make the effort to connect with my higher power for at least a moment today. So, a lot of you know that I had really bad experiences with religion early on and witnessed a lot of hypocrisy just from the people that raised me. But I'll say that since getting sober, since really tapping into personal development and really connecting with people like Tony Robbins, um, Gabrielle Bernstein, um, I have learned so much more about really trusting the universe, connecting with your higher power, and it really has nothing to do with organized religion or deeming yourself as a Christian or a Catholic or anything like that, but really um, taking time to focus on yourself, to you know, send affirm positive affirmations out and focus on yourself and connect to your higher power, whatever that is. And so this is something that I've learned to get more comfortable with and it's helped me become more in tune to myself instead of blocking out um, you know, what I can receive from my higher power. So this is something all new to me, but I thought I'd share that passage with you and you can, you know, connect to it whatever way you feel most comfortable with.